Victim Support are a national charity who give free and confidential help to victims of crime. Daniel Gwynn visited Karen Small to find out more about how she helps victims of knife crime. Please, can you explain your job role to me? OK, my title is actually Service Delivery Manager for Victim Support, which means that I manage a team of volunteers and staff uh, and ensure that the service um, that we deliver is the best that it can be and is what our victims need. What are the outcomes for the young people you help? Young people can be quite difficult sometimes to engage with, so we have to make sure that we are um, sort of up to date with trends and uh, in particular with the language that gets used um, to make sure that we understand what young people are saying to us and that we can actually talk to them in words that they will understand. Um, but I've been working for victim support for nearly eight years now, so uh, hopefully uh, in that time I've seen quite a few young people um, and I still see them now and see them when they've moved on in their life, so that's quite nice. Um, but lots of positive outcomes, lots of young people who've turned their lives round when perhaps the, all they've seen uh, is the way forward is to perhaps become an offender after being a victim. Um, but hopefully building their confidence up makes them make the right choices and they go on um, to have uh, good, fulfilling lives uh, and become big, strong members of our community um, in the future. Do you work with families as well as young people? Yes, it, it's really important that, that the whole family gets involved, really, um, if a young person's become a victim of a crime. Um, quite often there are other issues within the family that may need addressing. Um, and parents need a lot of support. Um, they find it quite difficult if their child has become a victim of crime. They can sometimes carry a lot of guilt about not being there to protect them. Um, and wonder sometimes, is it something that they could have done or should have done? Um, so we work with the whole family in, in rebuilding the confidence for all of them. Right, I have worked with young people who have been part of the gang culture um, that's around at the moment, um, be it guns or knives in particular. Um, and it's been nice to work with them, to see them um, come to us perhaps with the view that that's the only option for them, that that's their family out on the street, perhaps because they're, they're lacking in other parts of their lives, um, and to work with them and help them to see the impact that the crimes that they've committed, that they've been involved with themselves, the impact that that has on other people, and the impact of them becoming a victim, what that does to other people, to other family, to other friends and to people in society. I carry the knife purely for protection because it's either you or them and there's no that once it's gone too far you can't stop it and the only way like I said it's you or them it didn't really I've definitely felt safer but you you get more paranoid about police officers stopping you stuff like that and it's just Dangerous play. It's, it's dangerous just to be carrying one, man, because you get get took off the road straight away, jail straight away. And it's just not a good thing to get involved with, really. You, you've got to be just as bad as them, because it, it takes two people to stop it. And if you stop and they don't, then you're losing either way. You lose either way. I've luckily broke away from it, and if I didn't, I know I know 100% I'd be in jail by now, or I'd be stabbed myself. You know what I mean? Because it's just too. It's too dangerous, man. Every it, where I'm, where where I'm from, it's just dangerous. There's gang culture everywhere, and it is dangerous. And you get involved with it so easy. All the youngers are getting involved with it. They look up to the olders that are carrying knives, and they're all getting involved with it. And then, because they they don't know they don't know the outcome yet, but all the olders do because they've already been jailed. But all the youngers don't know the outcome, and they're doing it, and they're doing it, and people are getting killed, and they're getting laughed off, and they're not coming out till they're 20, and it's just like people's lives are just getting wasted, man, and we're killing each other for no reason. I didn't bother with education because all my mates weren't bothering with it, and it's it's carrying a knife ain't to show off. I think if if you if you're carrying a knife, yeah, then it means basically the 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 lads got problems or the girls got problems because. 
it, you wouldn't carry a knife for no reason not to show off. I don't think you would. I know I wouldn't anyway. Carrying a knife, it just it only leads to worse problems. You know what I mean? It, there's no, there's no good things come out of carrying a knife. Nothing nothing good happens. Having spoken to various people that have all in some way been affected by knife crime, in my opinion, I think that there should be more education on the consequences of carrying knives and also more police on the beat. There is plenty of help and support out there for victims and their families, but most of all, we all need to stand together and say... Run knives, save lives! Yeah, it's potential. Telling you how it is on road. To businessmen. Yeah, in the country. Speak for all my man's stock on the streets. Times are hard, and the struggle just keeps on going on for everyone, for everybody. But that's just the way it is. I ain't got a big head, but when it comes down to it, guarantee the trap I get murked. I got words of power, them powerful words. Potential, aka mini D, and I won't stop till my bars get heard. My bars are real, that's why you relate to each verse. And I want more than the street to hear my verses. There's too many women get a slap with their bags and purses. We shouldn't have to walk down an alleyway. I feel nervous. Tracks in the high-rise flats I speak for the ones that live a life of